JP lived at Montgomery Developmental Center. Um, he lived there for quite a few years and when um, DODD announced that MDC would be closing, he was offered an exit waiver, um, which means he was offered basically the um, experience of living out in the community in a smaller setting than he's really ever been used to. Um, so he kind of jumped on that opportunity along with his guardian. He was very excited um, and he saw it as he was kind of moving up in the world and getting his own place and um, kind of that was the start of his adulthood, I think that is what he kind of saw it as. So, And so the whole process took for him about a year once we found the house and kind of renovated it and made the modifications that he would need so he is, so he can be as independent as possible in his home. Um, and then before he moved in, he was able to participate in some home visits so he could kind of slowly move in, bring a couple boxes and hang out with his roommate and the new staff and slowly get to know them and um, they could slowly get to know him as well. Do you remember where you moved from? Where did you live before here? I moved out of Orange to NDC to Date Steak. Right. Mm -hmm. Then I came back to NDC to be back out to Date Steak. Mm -hmm. Then I went back to NDC that I came here to well, go to go to group home. That's right. Huh? What do you get to do here? Work. Yeah. Where do you work? Workshop. Do you make money? Yeah. What do you buy with your money? Clothes. What else? Jammers and uh, shoes and uh, coats and hats and gloves. What do you do when you're at home? What do you do around here? You get your drummers out of, your, out of the dryer, you put them on the bed, you get dressed for bed, take a shower, get dressed for bed. So do you get to do your own laundry now that you live here? Yeah. How do you do your laundry? I put my, I, when I get them, I put my, I put my jumpers in the washer. Ah. Good job. I make my bed up. Ah. Do you like to cook? Yeah. What do you cook? Yeah, food <laughs> and spaghetti. At the developmental center he lived with like 16 other people so it's so much smaller so i think he has just taken such an ownership of this house and he'll tell you like my house this is my favorite place and he gets to help you know decide what cabinet the dishes go in and where the food goes and uh when he does laundry you know he doesn't just have a laundry day anymore mm -hmm. he can do a load of laundry every single day if he wants and got a Keurig and that he made his own coffee or helped staff make his own coffee. Um, he is in the kitchen so much more and kind of enjoys telling staff what he wants for dinner rather than something just be prepared for him. It's just he can do what he wants when he wants mm -hmm. and it's amazing how much that has made him flourish and we know his his opinions are so well known now and what he likes to do versus what he doesn't like to do. Um, it's just opened a whole new world for him. We'll tell you, this is my house and he knows who's the guest and who actually lives here. So he kind of is the king of his own castle, so to speak. What's your favorite part about this house? Pretty good.